Okay. So this is the third time I'm going to do this vlog. The first time, it was really windy. I just plowed through and did it anyway. It was like, hey girl, how you doing? So that was no good. The second time I did it last night and I was super tired. Not only that, but the computer was like humming. And anyway, so as my daughter would say, hi guys, it's me. Hey guys, it's Ali. I'm here to do my week, I don't know, five, six, something journaling for weight loss vlog. I realized that I've been doing these vlogs for the last few weeks and I've never really even talked about the journaling technique. What? That's crazy. So I figured I should talk a little bit about that and how it came about. Journaling for weight loss is done using a technique that I call writing your next chapter. Basically, I stumbled upon this technique when I was working in corporate America and I was really unhappy, read a book that explained all the principles of the law of attraction, how to manifest a different reality for yourself. We talked about how the language that we use is really powerful. And then if we want to be living a different reality, we need to start telling a different story. And I was an English major in college, so I took that completely literally and decided that I was going to write a new story for myself. And I was going to do it using journaling, which I've done since I was about eight years old. I started coming into work, writing about what was going on, which like pretty much sucked ass. The people that I had to work with and how much they annoyed me and the girl that got a promotion who I thought was probably using cocaine and you know, just all this stuff. I just was just like, what? Just getting it out. Just what? And then what I started to do was just play around with kind of like a vision board, but on paper. I started saying, you know, I can't wait until I have my own consulting company and I'm working with people who really get my sense of humor and I can just be my normal goofy self and they'll appreciate it. And I can just state my opinion without having to take it through a whole entire hierarchy and present a PowerPoint presentation when I feel like I'm in the bathroom. I will make tons of money, like shit tons of money, and I'll be home every day when my kids get home from school because I'll work from home. And I just would go on and on and on like that. Then what started happening, because I would talk about everything that I wanted to do. I would talk about my dreams of being a singer and an actress, and I would talk about how I wanted to lose weight, and I would talk about how I wanted to be a professional writer and all this stuff. And then really weird stuff started happening. By the way, this writing that I did ended up being a book. So I did end up becoming a professional writer. I was in from what I've been told, it's kind of fun to read. But anyway, so um, yeah, really weird stuff started happening. I started getting opportunities to submit for articles for consideration. I started having people reach out to me who were interested in having me consult for them when I started my practice, and it was just really cool. Then the biggest thing happened of all, which is that a friend of mine reached out to me about this singing competition, reality show, and I did it, and it like set me on this whole whirlwind of um, going on this reality show and singing a solo live for, for 10 million viewers on NBC television, which in and of itself was like really cool. But it also was this moment where I realized this thing is real. That happened less than two months after I started this journaling practice. My life went to feeling like completely stalled, completely devoid of any joy or fun. Well, not any joy. I mean, I had three beautiful children and a wonderful husband, so I had some joy, but I really felt lost and like not at all. Like I was walking a, a path of purpose to definitely walking an interesting path that was full of fun and excitement and things that like my soul felt lit up for the first time in a really, really long time, a really long time. I knew that I was onto something and so I kept doing it. And then I, less than six months after I started doing it, I launched my consulting practice and less than, let's see, four months after that, I had a quarter million dollars worth of business on the books. It was pretty cool. And and the thing that was wild was the, the clients were coming kind of from nowhere. Like they weren't even people that I knew. Be walking with a friend and she'd say, oh, I was sitting next to this guy on a plane. And he said he needed somebody who did what you do. So I told him about you. I'd get a call from somebody who'd say, oh, I was having lunch with this friend of yours. And she told me about you. It was just like that. It was just really, really not the traditional way that things usually come about. I started to tell people about 
this type of journaling. And I started to teach people how to do it. Just like people that I knew. Some people were my friends, some people were my family, some people I would barter with, you know, for a long time with one of my friends, I traded massage. <laughs> and it was just really cool. Started to change their lives. That particular friend, she went from having a whole bunch of debt, like so much debt, she didn't want to answer the phone and being in a really yucky dead end relationship and living in a teeny apartment to buying a house, falling in love, having a baby, you know, all these amazing things happening that, that she just by infusing intention into her life and really starting to check her language and like the story that she was telling. That was the thing. The thing about this journaling technique is it starts to show you the story that you're telling and it starts to give you control of the narrative. And it's really cool. The thing that's happened for me, you know, over the years, because I've had a lot of success with this in my career, a lot of success with this in finding my path in manifesting wealth and, you know, a team of people to support the vision that I have of sharing this with everybody all over the world. But for me, the thing that's been really frustrating is that I still haven't lost the weight. You know, and I've, I've had times of success with losing the weight, but then it would come back. And I couldn't understand why, although I kind of know why. The thing about manifestation is it's a very simple formula. Desire to manifest something in your life, plus a belief that that thing will manifest equals the manifestation of that thing. But if one of those pieces is missing, then it won't manifest. For me, obviously I have the desire. I've been trying to do it for years and years and years and years. What must be missing is the belief. I was raised um, believing that losing weight is really hard. I started dieting when I was about eight and this crazy diet called the nine day diet. You do this in like nine day phases. You like eat almost nothing for three days and then you literally eat nothing for two days and then you eat almost nothing for <laughs> I don't know, another four days. And like, of course you're going to lose weight that way. I would try all these really, really crazy diets. I mean, honestly, name a diet. I've tried it. Paleo, hypnotism, Weight Watchers, juice fasting, Atkins, Jenny Craig, elimination diet, slim fast, everything there is I've tried. But I've always had this belief that is going to be hard, that it needed to be like hard and punishing in order for it to really work. That's not really what I'm trying to manifest for myself. I'm trying to manifest good health, but ultimately I'm trying to manifest joy in my life. So those two things are kind of at odds with each other. This recent shift of rather than focusing on the weight loss, which leads me to these beliefs about it having to be hard and punishing and joyless, um, has led me to this change in intention around wanting to manifest being comfortable in my own skin and wanting to manifest being happy and content with where I am. Because the other thing I realized was, it's, you can sort of think about it like a maze, like one of those really complicated mazes that they used to have in those puzzle books. Every time that I would be on a path of losing weight, you know, it could be that I would get really, really close and getting out of the maze would be getting to self-acceptance and contentment and self-love. So I might go through all these twists and turns and lose all this weight, lose all this weight, and then I would get to the end. And at the end, and there have been times in my life where I was you know, a size eight. And even by all of the charts that the doctors have on their walls, I was in within a healthy range. This one particular time, I was right within a healthy range. And I went to see the doctor and I was so excited because I was finally going to get that validation that I was a healthy weight. I said to him, yeah, so doc, I'm, I'm like, what do you think? I'm a healthy weight. And he said, mm, yeah, I mean, like technically you're a healthy weight, but you could probably lose five pounds. And I just... I'm not blaming on the doctor, but like it really, really was a little bit of a mind fuck because I was like, well, damn, like, you know, it really fed that monster inside of me that was like, not quite there. I know you guys can relate to what I'm talking about. That whole thing of like, no matter how much weight I lose, I'm just not quite there. The goal here is to get to the self-acceptance out of the maze and trust that the weight will come off as a result of getting out of the maze and off of the rat race. That's what the journaling process is helping with because I'm able to identify those limiting beliefs as I write and I'm able to counteract them with positive beliefs about who I really am and what I really want and how much I really do 
love myself. It really has changed what I see in the mirror and it's changed the way people are interacting with me. And it has created a shift, even though on the scale, you know, I've only lost a few pounds. I've made a lot of, a lot more progress probably towards getting out of the maze. Cause if you think about it, if that maze has this big, long, you know, circuitous path to get out of the maze, right. And then it ends in a wall, you're really no closer to getting out than if there's this little one up here that goes straight out. The fact is, I'm trying to get out. Doesn't matter about all that. I'm just trying to get out. And so if I can get out and then lose the weight, cool with that. I'm cool with that. So loving myself is the goal, being gentle and forgiving, appreciating and enjoying my life now. And my life now is freaking amazing. Maybe I'll never be the society ideal of what I should weigh, but that doesn't mean that I can't be happy in my skin. That's where I'm focusing. But how cool would it be if I also made it to my goal of having a healthy size eight or size 10 or size 12 body while I was doing this and documented the process to all of you that it doesn't have to be joyless and painful and punishing, that it can actually be a process of getting to self-love through looking at the way you talk to yourself, looking at the story you're telling that then results in wanting to make the changes in the way you eat and how you move your body that result in your body shrinking to a smaller size. Kind of makes sense. Makes sense from a mystical perspective, but it also makes sense from a scientific perspective. So anyway, my commitment to you guys is that I'm going to just keep vlogging. I'm going to keep letting you know what's happening. I'm going to trust this process because I know that it works. I've seen it work so many times with so many people. I had one woman who said she saw more progress in uh, building her business using this practice after two months than she had had in the previous two years. Like, that's amazing. So I know it works. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to show you. And every 20 pounds, I'm going to do what I'm going to call then and now picks rather than before and after because because I want to. So I'm going to do then and now picks. I'd love to see your comments. Subscribe to this channel because we're going to have so much cool content. We're going to have a behind the scenes uh, making of the one woman show coming out soon. We're going to have all this really cool stuff. And I am going to actually release soon, probably in the next week or so, a little course on how, exactly how to do this practice. And I'm going to give away free a checklist that you can use. And if you want to just run with that, that's great. But I'm going to tell you there's so much cool content around how to shed your fears or your limiting beliefs that are holding you back and really exactly how to do this practice. If this resonates with you at all, please leave a comment and let me know. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. This course that I'm going to be releasing in the next week or two, it's not going to be expensive. I mean, it's going to cost like about as much as a cup of coffee. So if you can afford to get a cup of coffee, then you can afford to invest in yourself and the possibility of maybe changing things at the root once and for all. Finally, having the joy and and the love for yourself that you deserve and getting off the maze and quieting the crazy. For folks who live in LA, I have a really exciting announcement, which is that next month in April, I'm gonna be giving this workshop live in Hermosa Beach um, at Life Lab on April 21st. And so if you're in LA, you should come. It's not that expensive. It costs less than a massage, but it won't be a temporary fix. It will be a permanent fix. And I will be there with free gifts, even better than that, advice that you will be able to use so that you know when you leave that workshop, you know exactly how to do this and you feel confident that you'll be able to incorporate it into your life in a way that feels good and nurturing and impactful. So subscribe to my channel, come to our website, www.momstar.me for more information about the writing your next chapter events and courses and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Everything right.